Dad, look. Isn't that Juno Labs? Um, excuse me? What? Who's there? What do you want? Could you tell me what happens to the building? I sure could, little man. It was a Sunday morning, just like any other. Or at least that's what I thought it'd be. I figured the most excitement I'd have today would be going home and watching Yentl again. That Barbara, she knows how to warm an old man's heart. Yeah, she's really something, huh? Oh, did I tell you I used to be in showbiz? Not many people know this, but I was going to be one of the backup dancers in Funny Girl back in 68. Of course, then my mother had to have surgery, so I had to stay home and take care of things around the house. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, so I come into work as usual. Uh, I'm in the chem lab, mopping up the floors, dancing the cha-cha-cha. I'm nowhere near as agile as I used to be when I was younger, you see, but I get by. Right, so what happened while you mopped the floors? That's when I start to feel this little tingly feeling in my head. Then all the lights go out and there's this stinging heat and this vibration. Not like an earthquake or nothing, more like when those young hoodlums drive by my place at 3 a.m. blasting their hippity-hoppity music. Did anything happen afterwards? So, the lights come back on, but a bunch of power cables get loose. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that's just great, Saul. You're gonna die in this godforsaken lab. But obviously you didn't die, so how did you get out? The window! Right there, beckoning suggestively, showing me the path to safety. Only since it doesn't open, I have to break it open. So I take out my trusty wrench and smash it and climb right on out. Only it's a bit of a fall, so now my ankle's all messed up. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Quite a story you have to tell now. All I need is someone to listen. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I told you, I can't go anywhere. Um, excuse me? Back again, boy?
Uh, never mind. Don't go anywhere. I told you. But the you some um back again. Uh, don't go anywhere. I told. Um, back again. That big chunk of wall blocking the front door. That better not come out of my- That's not what I'm talking about. I need to move it to get into the building. You've got to help me push it out of the way. I'd love to, son, except I can't even get up. But I've got to- g Don't remember if I told you, but I've got- Maybe I can help you with that. Detective Bennett, ACPD. Something the matter here, gentlemen? I need to get into the lab immediately. Dr. Morales is probably still in there, and... Hey, don't look at old Saul. I told you I broke my ankle getting out of the building, didn't I? This Dr. Morales, is he a co-worker of yours? My boss. Look, he's in the building. He's hurt. And you know this for sure. You've seen him. Well, no, but he... Well, I'm going to need to go inside and assess the situation. Can't you just call for an ambulance or something? Not unless we know for sure that we need one. The whole city's overrun with emergencies right now on account of the blackout. So, as you can imagine, resources are spread pretty thin. Hey, now, what about my ankle? I'll drive you to the hospital after I check things out inside. All right, Mr... Eddings. Call me Ed. Okay, Mr. Eddings. Ed. Let's take a quick look inside, and once I can confirm that an ambulance is needed, I'll call for one. Sorry. Hmm? Come with me? All right. Mr. Uh what do you want? Thanks. Sorry, detective? Yeah. Detective, would you try to boost me up to that window? I might be able to get to Dr. Morales. All right, but if you see any sign of danger, you come straight back. I will. Careful of the glass.
Any luck finding your friend? No, I couldn't get- I saw a fire start through the glass door. I radioed in for fire support, but all the trucks are deployed around the city right now. They're calling in everybody they've got, but we're gonna be on our own for a while. That's not acceptable. There's a downed power cable causing all kinds of trouble in the main hallway. The sprinkler system is not working, and some leaking water shorted out a security panel and shut the emergency door. We've got to get to Dr. Morales as soon as possible. He's hurt. Look, relax. He might be fine. You find a way to get me through that window, and we'll find a way through that hallway together. If we don't find him in time... Buddy, standing here considering different scenarios isn't going to get us to him. The only time for worrying is when you have no more options. We're not there yet. All right. Good. Now, find me a ladder or a rope or something to get my fat ass up there. Um, back again, boy? It's quite a jump. Have I mentioned my... Don't go any... I told... Excuse me. Yeah. Detective? Nope. Um, excuse me? Back again, boy? I forgot to put the mic back on. Sorry, guys. You wouldn't be able to unlock the maintenance core. Uh, tell you what, Sonny, what a- Don't go anywhere. I told you. Sorry. What are you- Detective? Nope. Nice. I'm going to need your help. Let's get go.
need to move his head out of the way. No, nothing else there. I think I can fit in here. Yeah. If I can find a way to repair that leak, maybe the sprinklers can take care of the fire. All right, be careful. again boy the sprinkler system oh that I've just been using my wrench to t I keep it in the maintenance closet it's not there we've looked in the closet that's impossible I always keep it in the closet always no exceptions seriously the no If I recall correctly, you said you used your wrench to break the window before you jumped out. Are you absolutely sure? Ah, it was in my... Sorry. Don't go in. I told... Mr. Yeah. Here, take. Sure thing. going up.
Come on down, kid. We'd better figure out a way to get that electric cable out of the way. Okay, let's keep looking. Mr. Mm? Here, take. Sure thing. There we go. Nice job. Now the only thing between us and your friend's lab is either a thick metal door or a two-ton slab of rock. Take your pick. Hmm. Excuse me. What do you want? What do you- The cables are dead and now we've just got to get through either the front- Sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Sorry, detective? What do you want? Detective Bennett, could you try giving that- I'm on. Doctor! My god. Detective? Jesus, did you find him? No. Hey, Ed. Mm. Dr. Morales! Are you okay? I... I don't. Doctor. Time for that ambulance, Detective. Dispatch, this is Detective Bennett. I need an ambulance at the Juno lab immediately. Now, let's get him out of there.
Excuse me, uh, Detective Bennett? Yeah. Detective, do you think you can lift up that heavy piece of debris? I can try. Got it. And not a moment too soon. My back is killing me. I've got another key card. 1982, though. Wow. Hi. Is that it's three, one, four? What is pi? I can't remember what pi is. I'm gonna have to Google what pi is. Three point one four one. I know he's dead. Doctor Morales. He's still alive. Where's... It's me. It's Ed. Hang on, Doctor. Stay with me. No matter what happens, I will not let your discovery be misused. I promise. And on that note, I'm gonna have to save it there and log off for the rest of the evening. I shall see you guys... What's the status? Oh. Well, go after this, this cutscene. Legs completely severed. BP very low. The wounds were cauterized at the time of the trauma, which kept... Cauterized? What severed the limbs? Unknown. Wait, Anna? Ed? Anna. Uncle Javi! My angel. Javi, what happened to you? My vault. My... Find it. My vault. I don't understand. What vault? Your uncle holds... the key. I don't understand. Find my vault. Your uncle holds the key. Stay with me. Dr. Morales. Can I cut scene yet? Can I um, save yet? I just... I don't understand why this had to happen. We weren't exactly close, but he was still the only family I had left. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? You didn't have anything to do with it. I didn't listen to him. What do you mean? He knew. He told me people were following him. That they were after his work. But I just assumed he was being paranoid. He gets that way sometimes, so I told him, Damn it! If I just shut up and listen to him. Someone was following him? And the explosion that killed him? Oh god, it wasn't an accident! You weren't close? Well, we were back when I was a kid. Javi was my dad's brother. I remember him being over at our house a lot, visiting- But then my mom died.